What's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna go through some if date functions. So that's like is after, is before, is same. All three of those are gonna go through those in this video. So if you're interested in that, stick around. But if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems. So that's stuff like Airtable for asset management or a CRM, Asana for project management, Slack for communications, and Zapier to really connect all the systems together. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video. So as you can see, I already set up the three date formulas in here. And I just have a simple date column, which is really all you'll need to be doing these calculations. And I'm gonna show you how to set up each of these if formulas in the is before, is same, and is after formulas. In this video, I'm gonna give you the full breakdown of how you set those up and also some flaws that I see with them and depending on your date formula. So here it is February 22nd, 2020, or 2021, not 2020. So you'll see in here that this date right here is February 23rd, 2021. And this is the anomaly that like when it's today of what I would bring up maybe with our table. But I'm gonna first just show you how to use these. So you wanna have your date formula in it probably won't be the primary field, but you'll have your date formula and then you'll create a formula field to the right of it. And how you start this off is you want to start off with an if formula. So this whole video is about using if formulas and dates. So trying to figure out like if something expired, if something's still fresh maybe, or if something needs to be happening today, uh, all of that should be covered in this video. So we'll make this a little bit smaller, but basically you'll just, you can come in here and insert a field to the right and you can scroll down and you can find formula right here. You can click formula, you can name your field. So this will be example. And then basically just, you'll just start typing if, so you'll start typing if, click on your if formula. And then you'll say, you, know, you wanna think about, do you wanna find out if a date is before this date, if a date is after this date, or if the date is the same as today? So for us, we'll just start out with is before. So I have some fields in here named that, so it's tougher for me to get those without the field selection, but if you just type in is underscore is before it should pop right up. And so basically if we click on that, it'll give us this little explanation over here, but basically we just wanna say is before a comma b so what these are is their operators. So A and B are operators and they're separated by a separator. So right here, this is the formula we're looking at right here. So this formula is embedded in an if formula. So basically what this is going to give back is it's going to give back a one or a zero and that's binary and something that's also binary is true or false. And that's what an if formula is based on. It uses a logical expression which returns true or false. So this first expression or this first operator in the if formula is that logical expression. So that whole logical expression is our whole if or the whole logical expression is the is before formula which we basically just embed in here. And if you click into your formula you can come in here and see that the is before is a parentheses, your first operator, which is A, and then a comma, your separator, and then B, which is the other date. So this checks if A, your first operator, is before B, your second operator. And so that's separated by this comma right here, and that is your whole logical expression. Now, the next thing you might want to do is you might want to pull in other fields in here. So what you can do is you can have your value. So this probably won't happen in your logical expression unless you want to get really complicated. So where you might want to pull in fields is in the what's called the value of true or the value of false. So over here you can see value one is the logical argument is true. So that's this is the value if this logical statement comes back true. So if this date is before today, then it will return our text string, this date is before today. And that's what we have here in quotes right here. So you can, you need to put quotes there so that Airtable knows that it's a text string. Uh, you, 
you, you just really should get in the hang of doing that. It'll make your formulas go a lot smoother and you'll do that for both the value of true and the value of false. Now you don't need to have a value right here for the value of false. And so if you have that, then there just won't be anything there. Uh, it won't return anything if the value is false. And I know this works in Excel, uh, but we'll see if we can maybe zoom out a bit and try that here. So yeah, so if the value of false is left blank, then it just won't return anything. So we'll undo that. So now you can see if the date is before today, which is according to Airtable, it's 2.23 because it says this date is today. 2.23.21, it says this date is technically after today. And all these other dates are before today. And obviously all the ones after that are still after. You can see that's a week after the bottom one you can see. So now that is same formula. So if I come in here and customize this one, really, really similar concept here, but you're just using a different formula in the logical expression of your if formula. So again, your if formula is made up of your logical expression, your value of true and your value of false. You can see that over here, logical value one, value two. So for our is same formula, there's actually three operators for this one. So if we can get that open over here, there's is same, the A and the B. So those are those two, two same time units, checking to see if date A equals date B up to some units. So the units I have in here are days, and you could do like, you could probably do milliseconds, although that one would be really tough to do. You could do seconds, you could do hours, you could do days, you could do quarters, you could do years, you could do like any of those unit specifiers in Airtable. If you look up Airtable unit specifiers, you can get all of those uh, and plug those in right here. So we just did days, and so if this date is the same as now up to days, the units, then this will return the value of true. And if that returns false, then it will return the value of false. So for us, if it's true, it'll say this date is today. And if not, then it'll say this date is not today. So we will save that. And you can see right here, this date is today because Airtable says this is today. Uh, and if it's not today, then it will return these. So that's perfect. Now the is after is even more similar to the is before than the is same. Uh, it's super easy to understand. So in here, we have again, the same logical expression for an if formula. You have your logical expression, your value of true, your value of false, all separated by separators. And each of those is an operator, the logical value one, value two. So this first operator here is the is after formula. So you have is after date comma today. Um, and that's essentially just the those A and B. So it checks to see if date A is after date B. And so that's what we have here. So if the date in the column over here is after today, then it will return the value of true, which the value of true for that statement is this date is after today. And if it's false, then it will say this date is before today. So that's what you can see here in the value of true and the value of false. So now we can click save and you can see all of that is perfect now. But what you might notice is the anomaly for when the day is today. So I don't know how much I would trust these formulas for if you're running an automation or doing all of that because they all seem to say kind of a separate thing. Uh, for example, today's actual date is February 22nd, 2021. So it's a day before this over here if I switch this to the 22nd, yeah, so if I switch that to the 22nd, it changes this to before, this day is not today, and this day is also before. So assuming that Airtable thinks today is the 23rd, you can see that this day is after today, this day is also today, and it's also before today. So there's obviously no expressions in the is after is, the is before for what if it is today. Um, and this also isn't today's date. But Maybe I'm doing something wrong. There could be uh, issues with like the time zone. I could see that, but in here there's no time in here and I can't click like the GMT thing because I don't have a time field. Uh, but if you're interested in that and maybe you know my solution to this, you can click or 
check out the comments in the comment section and comment what you think is going on here. But if you enjoyed these if formulas, these is before, is same, and is after, and you want to learn more about if formulas, you can check out this video in the end screen right here. It'll teach you all about nested if formulas. Nested if is like the step above this. Um, it's taking if formulas to the next level. So if you really want to get in tune with Airtable formulas, then go check out that end screen right there. It's going to teach you everything you know about nested if formulas. So I hope you had a great day. And without further ado, I'll see you there. And have a great day.